you don't have to know AI and you don't have to you know, even learn that much about it. You can just participate in what you're able to do and what you want to learn about. My initial thoughts were definitely, I don't know if I have the experience to do this. Um, I was the designer on the team and at the time I barely knew HTML or CSS. So I was thinking, you know, I don't have time to learn everything that I need to do for it. So I definitely was worried that it would be only applicable for people who know you know, how to code in multiple languages and things like that. Um, and I also was concerned that it would be difficult working on a larger team with only developers because I've never experienced something like that. As a design student, I hear a ton of feedback all the time, but only from designers. So even if I were to make, uh, you know, a UI and I would just talk to designers about it, they wouldn't be talking necessarily about how is it going to work, you know, can we actually implement this? So. Um, and then as far as projects go, right now, a lot of my projects are individual. So being able to actually work with a team and make sure everyone's on board with what you're doing is definitely a huge skill. I mean, it's definitely the biggest piece that I have in my portfolio right now. It's certainly the thing that I'm most proud of, of what I've created. Um, so, you know, when applying for jobs, that's what I really emphasize, you know, on my resume or on my portfolio. And then I think, it just gives me a different perspective. Working with software is a lot different from designing you know, a brand or a logo. So I think in my classes, even when I'm giving people feedback, I'm able to have that different perspective of how will other people you know, be using this or perceiving it.